Hello, Jester Good here, and I'm doing a little flip through of these older Fabuland catalogs. I kind of came with sets that I've reviewed this week uh, for LEGO Fabuland. Um, this one is, I think, 1981, and the same could be said about this one too. I don't remember, but somewhere around that time. So let's start out with the smaller one. I love looking at these catalogs. Uh, you can see Elton the Elephant, uh, Percy Pig. I almost got that set actually on eBay by the same seller who sold me these sets. Town Hall, I have like accepted the fact that I'll probably never get a Fabulous building set sealed because <sighs> those suckers are like a gazillion dollars on Brooklink and eBay. Um, and it says new 1981 items, which is kind of interesting because this came out with the Fabuland uh, Ricky Raccoon and Scooter set, which I thought was 1979. Um, but I think this re-release, as it's dated on Brickset, is 1980, so that's why they showed the 1981 sets. Um, you can see some more like Andy Panda and Chester Chimp. Of course, I reviewed that. Um, that's where the, this catalog's from. Charlie Crow's Carryall. Um, that one's interesting because I, I don't hear much about that set, and I want that big uh, garbage can piece. That's kind of interesting. Ice Cream Shop, which this set I've seen a lot of. Um, this is probably the most common Fabuland building. Almost got it from the same seller who sold these, but his was opened, but it was like basically new opened. Like it was opened and never built, and it was just put back inside. I was about to get it, and then like this, this sell, the buy it now um, listing ended. Um, but it was up for like a good two hours at like I think 40 bucks, which is a pretty good price for that. Barney Bear, Honey Bunnies, Camper, Service Station. Uh, let me think about those actually. Uh, the service station, I, I don't have, I don't like that one. It doesn't look too cool. I do like Ice Cream Shop, by the way. Um, but I like these cards. I really want some of the Fabuland cards because they're really interesting to build. Um, and you can see there are 13 Fabuland sets in all that work together or combine with other Lego sets for even more play possibilities. There's the hospital. I never see that set. I could imagine that set's probably like $1,000 sealed. Cottage and Taxi Station. Don't like Taxi Station. I don't think that's really necessary. Cottage is cool. I want some of those houses, man. <laughs> um, and you can see all those all together. And they even have um, the look at the boxes of these sets, which is so weird to see because I never see these in their boxes. Um, cottage, hospital, ice cream shop, and uh, the Honey Bunnies carrier. And you can see they have these little instructions right here, which is kind of funny. And then this one right here will be more exciting for those people who don't care about Fabuland because on the back they actually have some uh, different themes other than Fabuland. But here's where the difference is between these two catalogs. This one has Duplo Preschool Toys, Lego Universal Building Sets, which I don't know much about that line, but I think that's just kind of like bricks and pieces from back in the day. Fabuland, um, which they say are ages 3 to 7. Then they have Lego System Sets. You can see there's a town set. I think that's the, the male... Um, what is it called? The post office set, and I forget what that one's called. It's right there, but I can't really see it. You gotta squint. Galaxy Explorer, I think it is, for space. Um, homemaker sets and boats. Homemaker is a bigger, uh, like the figures in there are pretty big, so I'm amazed that they put that for such a high range. An expert builder. This is before Technic, I think, so those were sort of like the old Technic style where they had lots of studs in them, um, but you know, they still have some of those gears and stuff. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So that's it for these two little catalogs. I'm sure not many of you cared to watch this, but it's always fun to look at catalogs for me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.